Hi everyone, my name is Daniel. I'm a professor for software engineering at BTH. Hi, my name is Jan. I'm a sociologist by training and I'm head of a research group at the Munich Center for Technology and Society at TU Munich. And in the following, we'll show you how to present a paper in three minutes or less. Go. Cool. So, this article is about interdisciplinary collaborations with a strong focus on empirical software engineering. But why even bother with such collaborations? Well, in software engineering research, we deal a lot with social, cultural, and human-centric aspects. In the end, software is built by humans for humans, and this puts us at the intersection with other disciplines like psychology or the social science, just to name two examples. In this article, we elaborate on such collaborations and what this means for empirical research configurations, theory building, and theory evaluation. We do this not only at a practical level, but first and foremost at the level of methods, concepts, and general approaches in empirical research. We are, of course, not the first ones to tackle these questions and to learn from past experiences, so we took a closer look at the science studies, including history, philosophy, and the social science, to understand the practices of building core concepts in empirical approaches. We essentially recapitulate on the history of scientific movements and what we can learn from them. In a nutshell, we reflect on historical discussions about concepts like theory or truth and what this even means, and how certain quality criteria for scientific practices have always relied on implicit assumptions about what constitutes good, sound, or rigorous science, and how they even depend on social mechanisms in the research community and sometimes even subjective things like taste, or the simple preference of the individual researcher and reviewer. Some articles are not simply interesting, surprising, or compelling enough. Does this sound familiar, reviewer too? Piece of we then move on and talk about theory, research, and evaluation as a scientific practice and show that the construction and evaluation of theories, models, and arguments is to be seen as a set of practices structured by changing rules, norms, and paradigms. There's really nothing absolute about truth, and there's no such thing as a universal way of scientific practice. To a certain extent, as you will see, theory building and evaluation is also a pragmatic back and forth with a multitude of research method options. This is what we introduce as a pragmatic cycle for empirical research in software engineering, forming one key contribution of our manuscript. We then focus on empirical software engineering itself and reflect on its evolution, how we still have to deal with a lot of folklore and conventional wisdom, what challenges we still face as an emerging discipline, and there are many, and how to overcome many of these challenges by drawing from experiences historically made in other disciplines. Grounded on selected use cases, we argue to stop treating empirical software engineering as a developing discipline moving towards a paradigmatic stage of normal science, and that instead we need to treat it as a configuration of interdisciplinary teams, research methods, and existing theories in interdiscipline. We finally conclude with recommendations on how to do that effectively. Needless to say, this gives rise to new challenges in empirical software engineering, which can only be addressed as a research community, and this is exactly what our article is essentially about. Rising awareness for empirical software engineering, its basic concepts and philosophical roots, its challenges and implications, and how not to reinvent the wheel, but instead not to only borrow from other disciplines, including research methods and theories, but also how to effectively integrate them as part of successful collaborations. So, I hope we all learned something. Maybe. <laughs> Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, enjoy the happy hour. Prost.